Rudy. He's now battling back from COVID-19. Calvin Calhoun still has a long way back. He told me he's lucky to be alive. I'm hearing from colleagues from across the country and it's just overwhelming. It's been an emotional journey for the veteran professional sports photographer. Kelvin Calhoun beat the coronavirus, but doctors put him in a medically induced coma and ventilator to keep him alive. Can you give us a sense of what it's like when you first woke up? You're just not sure if, if, if where you are is real or if it's if it's fake. Speaking to us from his mother's home, you can see he's still tethered to oxygen. On March 7th, he was on assignment at Little Caesars Arena face to face with NBA stars Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. They both tested positive for COVID-19, prompting a suspension of the season. No, mm -hmm. I don't think I got it from either one of them. The 56-year-old, now on the men, says his symptoms begin a week after the game and family and friends encouraged him to get checked out. I was kind of having some trouble breathing. Uh, and they checked my, you know, my oxygen level and my blood pressure and all that. They were alarmed. And, you know, out of pretty much everybody else that was in line, they asked me to come inside. 25 days later, he was released from the hospital, and he says doctors and nurses saved his life. By the grace of God, I made it through. Overcoming the nightmare diagnosis, Calhoun says he's thankful for the outpouring of support from friends and family. I would have never known people felt the way they feel about me. It's like, you know, wow. Uh, I, I can't believe these, everybody's asking about this. Friends and colleagues raised more than $17,000, shattering their goal of $10,000. Calhoun made it home just in time for his mother's 76th birthday. Outside Little Caesars Arena, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. Wow.